morning, boys and girls. Today's lesson is brought to you by Action Jackson or Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock um, was an American painter and he became famous for his paintings in the abstract expressionist style. His most famous paintings were made by dripping and splashing paint on large canvases. And because of that, his nickname was Jack the Dripper. And because of this method he used, it was all, his style was often called action painting. And he would literally take a huge canvas, like a cloth, put it on the floor and drip and splash and splatter paint on the canvas from all different directions. So it wasn't like he had a, um, an easel in front of him and he was painting, you know, one way, up and down, across, etc. He would paint from all around. So I'm going to put a link to the book so you can um, read it on YouTube. It's a fun book. And I'm going to show you a way you can do action painting with your little, little ones at home or big kids. Um, these were made by marble rolling. And when you see um, Jackson Pollock's large scale paintings, which I can kind of show you right here, you'll see that they are very similar in look because of the way the paint has rolled across the canvases. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> all right, here is one. So you can see all those really cool action lines um, going in different directions. So to get started with this, I, um, I just took a shallow box. You could use a shoe box. You could use just a Rubbermaid container and wash it out. Um, a few marbles because they're heavy enough to drag the paint and roll. And then what I did was I just squirted a few dots of acrylic paint. You can use tempera paint too, um, but you need something with a little bit of a body to it. And I'm just gonna do yellow and red because you know that yellow and red make what color, boys and girls? Orange, you got it. So then you're gonna take this and this is where the fun starts because you're going to start rolling these marbles back and forth and they're gonna get stuck at first. So you're gonna have to give it a little tappy tap, but you are going to roll and roll and try it. It's good motor skill practice here, trying to literally roll the marble through the globs of paint, which I haven't even gotten that one. Come on. Um, but if you're a little kid, you might get a little crazy and start really shaking it. So um, this is a good outdoor thing too. But you see, the more you roll and you get those marbles through that paint, the more it looks like you have splattered from every direction because your marbles are not just going back and forth, back and forth. They are going every which way. So by the time you finish this, let's see if I can speed it up a little bit. Kind of roll around, it's probably giving you a headache watching this. Um, you can always go back in and add another color. I'm gonna add some black, just cause I'm a fan of black paint. Gives it a little oomph. Let's see what happens. Just a little bit here and there. Not too much. Little blobs. All right, here we go. Got Woody trying to get in the studio. Okay, come on marbles. Get in that black. It's like avoiding the black. Come on. Let's see if I can get them all in one spot. All right, roll. There we go. It does take a little uh, maneuvering with the box, but you see by adding a fourth color on top, um, you're gonna start, to, ooh, there goes a marble. So sure that one didn't go down my apron. Oh, it did. Went right in my pocket. Ugh. But you see, look at that black, how that starts to build on there. It gives it some variety. It gives it some, oh, I just love it. Okay, so here's one way, marble rolling. Now, you can take this out, let it dry. You could cut it up. Um, you could adhere it to like another little piece of paper, let your little artist sign it, send it to somebody in a little note. Um, all sorts of stuff you could do. You can make a whole gallery. Look, this could be a, a Lego, a little Lego man's huge um, gallery piece. Make a little art gallery. 
Okay, so here's one technique. The next technique that we have done in class, um, and uh, I did this with a group of, what, third graders, I think? Um, a couple years ago for an auction piece, which I'll show you a video of as well on my website. But this is more of a splatter painting technique. Um, but it's not so, so messy that you couldn't do it um, inside. So, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I have, I get my piece of paper here. I have bowls of watered down paint. At school, we use pieces of yarn with a clothespin on them, just because it's easier to handle and it really won't get dripped into the, you know, sucked into the paint. So I've put, I don't know, a couple teaspoons of water in here, and I'm gonna squeeze some paint in. And you want this paint, um, you don't wanna use it straight out of the tube, because it'll be really hard to kind of throw it we're not really throwing it. We're just kind of smacking it onto the paper. Oop, almost lost my string, my piece of twine here. So you want it kind of the consistency of, of house paint if you're gonna paint a wall um, that goes like on a roller, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna start with yellow first because it's my lightest color. And I'm gonna take this out carefully and I'm gonna splat it. And I'm going to kind of hit the paper with it and drag it. You see on that first one, I had a lot. Um, so then you can take another color. I'm gonna do green here. Let me drip you off a little bit. Let's see, this one I'm just gonna drag. And these have been soaking for a while. And instead of walking around like Action Jackson did, you can turn your paper and you can put another piece of paper underneath of this so that um, you can go like right off the edge. My blue has gotten a little saturated here. You know Miss McMurtry likes a mess now. Yarn works great and I did not have yarn. All my yarn is at school and my clothespins are at school. So you can continue to build and build color splats on this or drips as you call it. If you were outside, you could literally take a brush and put the watered down paint on there and throw it. And that one's a little big here. See how that first might be a good idea to take your first piece out your string or your yarn or whatever you're using and splat it on something different before you start this. So this is just one more way of making an action painting like Jackson Pollock in the comfort of your own home without making such a terrible mess. Um, I'm going to show you a couple that um, I did later on in the video. You'll see some pictures and I'm also going to um, give you a link to two videos, one I did with our family, we did a family action painting, and the one I did with um, the third graders. So have a super day, you guys. Enjoy this, I think they're gorgeous. You could always cut them up and make something. And be sure to look at the book, uh, the link that I post on Action Jackson. Have a great day, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.